29th वर्ष चैप्टर थर्ड थर्ड चैप्टर 29th वर्ष प्रकृति ही गुण सम्मूढ़ा हा सज्जन्ते गुण कर्मसु तान अकृत्स्न विदो मंदान कृतस्न विन न विचालयेत कृष्णा इज अ बिट क्रिटिकल हियर दोस हु आर डिल्यूटेड बाय द क्वालिटीज ऑफ मटेरियल नेचर आर अटैच्ड टू द एक्शंस ऑफ द क्वालिटीज द परफेक्ट नोअर शुड नॉट डिस्टर्ब द फूलिश मैन ऑफ इनकंप्लीट नॉलेज so krishna vin is the wise one a krishna vin is foolish man so if foolish people are attached to the qualities of the material nature let them be completely deluded you should not disturb them you should not criticize them na vichalayet vichalan vichalan to disturb others vichalayet so do not disturb others let them be deluded you focus on your own detached actions verse 30 सर्वाणी कर्माणी सन्यस्य अध्यात्म चेतसा निराशीर निर्ममो भूत्वा युद्धस्व विगत ज्वरः कृष्णा इज एग्जॉटिंग अर्जुन टू गेट अप एंड फाइट लिटरली से युद्धस्व दैट इज इंपेरेटिव सेकंड पर्सन यू हैव टू फाइट बी इन्वॉल्व इन फाइट युद्धस्व युद्ध करो विगत ज्वरः ये विगत ज्वरः इज बहुव्रीहि विगत गॉन ज्वरः फीवर your fever let the fever your fever be gone and you fight don't act as if you're sick as if you're weak as if you're suffering in fever get up and fight so what is saying mai sarvani karmani sanyasya adhyatma chetsa as if all your actions you have renounced to me you have offered to me nirashir and be unexpected for the results once again karmyo nirmama do not attach your own self to your actions bhutva having become fight and forget about your fever so differing all actions in me meditating on the supreme spirit that is me having become free from desire and selfishness with your fever departed fight verse 31 ye me matam idam nityam anutishthanti manavah shraddhavanto na anasuyanto muchyante api karma bhihi wonderful words here ye me matam idam nityam this is my doctrine this is my teaching Mat- matam my doctrine my teaching me my idam this neutral neutrogen remember sanskrit has three genders masculine feminine and neutral so idam is neutral gender nityam eternal teaching anutishthanti manavah manavah manav word manav which means people or person manav word is derived from manu the primordial man right so manu's descendants are manava or manushya same thing manushya means the same thing so manavah anutishthanti those who follow my doctrine eternal my eternal doctrine those men who constantly practice this teaching of mine shraddhavantah with their faith with their dedication shraddha with shraddha with full faith anasuyantah they do not envy they do not have ill feeling towards this teaching anusuya asuya is evil feeling or envy or those kind of negative feelings anasuya Anasuya is one of the great female sages in the, from the Vedic literature. So Anasuyanta, those who don't have the evil feeling, evil thoughts, so they follow my teaching with full faith. Shadhavanta, Anasuyanta, Muchyante api karma bhihi. Muchyante, Muchyante. Much is the root which means free. Much gives us the word moksha, liberation. Muchyante. If they follow me with full faith, without any ill feeling. they will be freed from all their action muchante api also karma bhi from all their actions so men who constantly practice this teaching of mine believing not sneering sneering not envying are also released from the bondage of actions verse 32 ye tu etat abhyasyantah nanu tishthanti me matam sarva gyan vimudhan tan vidhi nashtan asetasa krishna is again very angrily you know criticizing those who don't follow his teachings what is he saying ye tu etat abhyasuyantu those who are ill feel those who have ill feelings those who have envy uh, again that word asuya asuyantah envious na anutishthanti me matam they those those who don't follow my teaching sarva gyan vimudhanta those are the deluded people stupid people foolish people with the know that 
Nashtan, those are perished, those are destroyed, those are literally gone. Achetasa, those are foolish, stupid people. So what our translator says, but those who sneering at these, this, do not practice my teaching, confusing all wisdom, Vimuda, Vimuda is confusing, deluded, know them, Vidhi, know this. Vidhi comes from Ved, Ved means knowledge, to know. Right? So, Vidhi, again, imperative second person because Krishna is talking to Arjuna. Singular. Vidhi. Nashtan. Know them to be lost and mindless. Nashtan, lost, perish, and achetasa, mindless. 33rd verse. Sadrisham cheshtate swasyaha prakartehe gyanvan api prakartim yanti bhutani nigraha kim karishanti nigraha sanyas, renunciation. Kim, what? Karishanti. What will renunciation do? When, you know, even if you say officially you are a renunciant or an ascetic, but your body and mind are extremely active. You can't let your mind control. You can't control your mind. Your mind is already always active. Even if you formally, you know, take the robe of a renunciant, but your mind is always active. What can Nigraha accomplish? Nigraha cannot control your mind. So what he's saying? One acts according to one's own material nature. You being a Kshatriya, he's talking to Arjun. Kshatriya cannot take renunciation because your material nature is to be active. Rajas gun, be active, be fighter, be warrior and re-establish dharma like that. So those are his, his natural qualities, his genetic qualities almost. Right, so physical qualities. So one acts according to one's own material nature, your physical nature. Even the wise man does so. Prakarte hai gyanvan api, prakarte hai by nature, gyanvan. Prakarte hai of nature, gyanvan of the wise people. Sadrasham cheshtate according to your own nature. Beings follow their own material nature. Prakriti hi, prakritim yanti bhutani. Bhutani, all beings. Yanti is, yanti comes from the ya root. Ya means to go. Aya means to come, which has, again, English, uh, sorry, Hindi, Gujarati, Marathi, all these languages of North India, Central India have this word, ana or aya. Aya is actually a Sanskrit word. Ya is to go, Aya is to come. Ya and Aya, if we combine, we get Yatayat word, which means traffic in Indian languages. Hindi, Gujarati, Marathi, Yatayat is traffic. Yat, Ayat, to go and to come, traffic. Similarly, Ayat and Niryat, to import and to export. Ayat, again, that has come from foreign countries. Niryat, that goes out to foreign countries. Ayat, Niryat, Yatayat, all these come from. Yan is the root, Ya is the root, which means to go, and Aya is the root, which means to come. Any verb that gets a prefix of a changes the direction. Gum and agam, ya and aya, and so on. Many, many such words. Nigra kim karishati. So that is clear, 33rd verse. Prakartim yanti bhutani. So beings follow their own material nature. Your renunciation cannot accomplish anything. So forget about talking about taking any renunciation. You can never become an ascetic Arjun. 34th verse. Indriyasya, indriyasya, indriyasya arthe. Raga Dvesha Vyavasthitao, twice, du dual. Tayor na vasham agachet, tau hi asya paripanthinau. Passion and hatred are seated in the sense in relation to their objects. Passion and hatred are in the your senses. Raga and Dvesha, Raga Dvesha, dual. Again, Sanskrit has three numbers, singular, plural and dual. So, Raga Dvesha, dual. Vyavasthitao, indriyasya, indriyasya arthe. Passion and hatred are seated in the senses in relation to their objects. Right? That which is pleasing to our ears is connection with ears. That which is, please, uh, is pleasant to our nose is connected with our nostrils. That which is connected with our eyes, so, so eyes are always looking for better pleasing sights. So, so all these things are interconnected. Senses and their objects are interconnected. Indriyasya, Indriyasyarthe. That which is object of these senses are connected. Right? So one should not come under the power of these two. Tayoho na vasham agachet. Tayoho. Of these two, na vasham, vash me karna. Do not be controlled by these senses. Agachet. Do not. Please. Agachet here is a like an optative. It's called as optative. So please do not come under these uh, control of these senses. Tauhu. Tau hi asya paripan. Those are your enemies. Again, dual. Paripanthinau. Paripanthinau. Pari is kind of Opposite sense, in, in the sense of oppos opposition. So paripanthinau is, is a meaning word for enemy. You are, they are your rivals. They are adversaries. Antagon antagonists. 
तौ हि अस्य परिपंक्तिनो बी अवेयर ऑफ राग एंड द्वेष बिकॉज इवन इफ यू टेक रिनंसिएशन योर राग एंड द्वेष आर इनबिल्ट इनटू योर सेंसेस सो बी अवेयर 35th verse the most important verse and krishna will this is the last verse by krishna and then arjun makes his entry again in the from 36th verse so this is the last line of krishna in this third chapter before he comes again after krishna, krishna after arjuna's next question so 35th verse chapter 3 shreyan swadharma vigunah par dharmat svanutishthatat svanutishthatat yes swadharme nidhanam shreyah पर धर्म भयाव वेरी वेरी हाईली मिस इंटरप्रिटेड लाइन सम पीपल ट्रांसलेट दिस टू से दैट वी शुड स्टॉप द वी शुड नेवर गेट कन्वर्टेड टू अदर रिलीजन राइट सो वॉट इज वॉट कृष्णा इज सेइंग श्रेयान स्वधर्म विगुण माय ओन वंस ओन धर्म इज श्रेय बेटर इवन इफ इट इज विगुण इवन इफ इट हैज डिमेरिट्स पर धर्मात बेटर देन अदर धर्मास स्वनुतिष्ठता सो फॉलो योर ओन धर्म स्वधर्म निधनम श्रेय it is better to accept death in one's own dharma par dharma bhayavah other dharma is dangerous risky bhayavah fearful so this is not about conversion this is not talking about hinduism to islam or vice versa no this dharma simply means one's own duty one's own role kshatri kshatriya's duty is to fight so do not think of other dharma such as become a sanyasi arjuna is trying to become a sanyasi so if you change your dharma change your duty your aptitude from becoming from the role of kshatriya to role of sanyasi that would be worse so better to fight in the war and die a kshatriya's duty kshatriya's death veer gati rather than think of sanyas and changing your dharma and trying to live a life of a sanyasi that is what krishna is prohibiting arjuna from so that com- completes our 35th verse so we'll take the last seven verses of this chapter 3 in the next week thank you